Hey, Mark. Troubles may come. Troubles may come. But don't, but don't you worry. Trials may come. Trials may come. But don't grow weary. Be not dismayed. Be not dismayed. Whatever, whatever be tight. God, God will. I try to, and I know you will. So Lord will take care of you. Hi, my name is Kevin Otto, and I'm the director, and this is A Question of Faith. Hello, this is Richard T. Jones, and this is A Question of Faith. I'm C. Thomas Howell, and this is A Question of Faith. Hi, I'm Kim Fields. You are on our set of A Question of Faith. Hi, I'm Amber Nealon Thompson, and you are seeing us on the set of A Question of Faith. Hey, everybody, how you doing? I'm T.C. Stallings, and this is A Question of Faith. Hi, I'm Karen Valero, and this is A Question of Faith. Hi, I'm Jackie Velasquez, and this is A Question of Faith. Hi, I'm Renee O'Connor, and this is A Question of Faith. I'm Greg Allen Williams, I play Farnsworth Newman. The film is A Question of Faith. Hi, I'm Donna Biscow, and this is A Question of Faith. I'm James Hooper III, and this is A Question of Faith. Hi, my name is Angela White, I'm the producer of A Question of Faith. My name is Lisa Diane Washington, and I'm a producer on the film A Question of Faith. My name is Nelson Jackson, the music supervisor for A Question of Faith. I'm Dr. Cameron Lewis, the executive producer of the film A Question of Faith. What happens when a member loses someone and they need God's word to bring them comfort? Who's going to give a turn? You? Once more, everybody, thank you. This is a great college, Mommy. But it's so far. It's so expensive. Bag burning the midnight oil, I see. You're still at the office. This is a lot on my plate. You never kept your promises to him. She still has his headaches. Well, you just go out there and do your best. We're gonna get a record deal today. You are not going home today or anytime <laughs> soon. We want a second opinion and we will get one if we have to change hospitals. No, we want do not need doctor. another doctor. Would I ask that you send this on us? The economy's down. The only thing me and Teresa have been doing is trusting in the Lord. Look where it's gotten us. David, come on. No, please. Do you still believe in your Lord and Savior? Will you stop questioning your faith? Asking for forgiveness? David, we're men of God. That means we made a commitment. All of the answers to our good fortunes and our suffering can be found right there in His Word. Last one. Here we go. If you believe on the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, I'm Nelson Jackson, and I'm standing here with the producer of A Question of Faith. My name is Angela White, and this is the music supervisor. 
We're really blessed to be working with Nelson Jackson. What's the most exciting thing about the music in this film is we're gonna have so many different genres of music from bluegrass, country, pop, to traditional black gospel, to a classic hymn such as I Need Thee and the Lord's Prayer. As far as a lot of the musicians that are part of the film, Nelson has personally worked with them and selected them, and we basically flew them out from Los Angeles to Atlanta, Georgia to be a part of this film. And I hope this will touch your lives when we see this film coming out next year. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Hi, I'm Pastor Ben Graham at Music City Baptist Church, and we just watched A Question of Faith with our congregation. And you know, as a pastor, one of the things that thrills me is to watch when our people are motivated and moved. And uh, it was so inspiring to see folks coming out in tears, uh, folks shaking my hand and saying, Pastor, this movie really helped me. Matter of fact, one of our men said, Preacher, this has really helped me with some questions I've had. And uh, it's been very encouraging uh, to see this. And I want to recommend every church and every pastor get your congregation to see this film. Well, we just uh, finished the screening here in Atlanta of A Question of Faith. And wow, I, this is my first time seeing it all done. And um, I'm so honored and humbled and thankful that Angela, uh, White, and Ty got out a story like this for the world to see because it's really a message that the world needs to hear. And um, the way that it was portrayed in the writing and then just to see it in real life was just, it's so moving. I always say, you, you know, God just does what he does. It was absolutely amazing, heartfelt, um, every emotion you could think of, but most of all, the ministry. I was impressed that the movie was not just a movie, but it was a a ministry and it made you really realize that God is with us even in our troubled time. Um, I'm so excited for the cast and the crew and everyone that helped put the movie together. I can't wait for it to make it to the big film for everyone to see it. I love playing, you know, a flawed character that could find redemption and what a great opportunity this was to do that. And thank you all very much. This movie is incredible. Uh, Question of Faith will touch your heart, your mind, your soul, and everything in it. Uh, I was really happy with the film, seeing it, and plus, you know, I got a chance to see myself in the choir, so make sure you look, know that ain't T-Pain. <laughs> but thank you to uh, Angela, uh, she's amazing, and everybody involved. I'm telling you, this movie is the one. So. In one word, describe what you think about this film. Powerful. And I can't think of enough adjectives to describe this movie. Incredible, fantastic, phenomenal, awesome, superb. The main thing that really touched me was just seeing that it was a pastor's family and the trials that they're going through. Um, it really hit home because there's a lot of things as a pastor's family that we go through and it spoke to my heart and just blessed me in, in so many ways. Hey everybody, it's Wes Morgan. I have just finished watching this phenomenal movie. Um, some good friends in the casting and uh, good music great storyline. I think it's a very purposeful message to be sending out to everybody around us right now. We need to learn to love people and understand the purpose of God because it's the purpose of God that will always prevail. It's a question of faith. I think the movie uh, will become the seed to ignite a uh, multicultural church. Um, based on what we saw tonight in this movie. Thank you. There's so many messages in the movie. I, I just kept thinking about my life and everything that's happening and how I can fix it. It was just a blessing to be part of this, part of this cast. I, I just can't believe how good the movie came <laughs> to be. And I can't wait for you guys to see it. A question of faith. I, I wept. Repeatedly, um, I was moved. I was inspired. Um, it's an amazing, amazingly anointed film. Um, in an actor's career, we do a lot of things, and not all that we do is of great value. And this film is of great value, and I'm honored and humbled to have been asked to be to be a part. This wonderful writing and this wonderful cast, and it's just a joy. So faith-based, the scriptures they did, the prayer, and just, 
It was a question of faith and how they showed their faith through that coming back to God through all the troubles and trials they went through. Marvelous testimony of how God's transforming power works even in the film world industry. I, I was truly blessed. It was very powerful. It was very powerful. Somebody's like, oh no, you did it. <laughs> I was like, oh God, get me to the end of this movie. A chance to see a question of faith, Silver Lining Entertainment. I tell you what, it's going to bless millions of people all across the world. Real people, real life, real issues with the real God. I'm here with uh, Pastor Evangelist Dr. Ron. Tell me a little bit about what you thought of the movie. It was outstanding. Um, one of the main things I can, uh, that, that I felt like it did was uh, it addressed several issues that we prefer not to have to address. That, that is the lead in of it all. I know this is going to go far. Um, it, 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 it touches hearts, it changes lives. It, uh, it, it touched me in a way that I did not realize it was going to touch me, so it hit me deep. Faith, Dan, tell me what you think about this film. All I can say is, wow, it had me from the beginning. It just grabbed me, and, uh, you know, the title couldn't be more perfect, A Question of Faith. And uh, uh, I usually uh, can't sit through a movie uh, for two hours, but uh, I could have stayed another two hours. It was, was one of the best Christian films I've seen in a long time. I would encourage anybody and everybody to go see this movie. It's not a cheesy Christian movie. It is a life-changing movie for those that are Christians and those that are not. So definitely you want to get to a theater near you and see this film. Kenneth Maurice Davis, Tabernacle Baptist Church, D. Iberville, Mississippi. Certainly a question of faith is evidence that prayer is the key and faith unlocks the door to future activities initiated through him. Reverend Broomfield, Mississippi, President of the National Baptist Convention, Dr. Tom. Thank you. This is James Hooper. I played Junior Newman in the film A Question of Faith. This was actually my first film, first anything that I've ever booked, so it was very exciting. It was cool seeing myself on the screen. I was like, dude. <laughs> so yeah, it was a great experience. Great working with such an all-star cast. This movie is so phenomenal. First of all, it was well scripted. Uh, the cinematography was incredible. Um, the message is like, it was so poignant and is, is ready for today's generation. So the Christology of this movie is what gets me. So yeah, when you ever see this movie again, if nothing else, we gotta thank God for Jesus. I encourage you to go out and watch this, watch this movie, A Question of Faith. It's, uh, it's well worth it. And then some. I just saw A Question of Faith and so should you.